morning. Praise the Lord. Praise you, the Lord, this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, God, giving you glory and honor, esteeming him high this morning. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. Loving you, praising you, lifting you up, esteeming you high. Awesome God, wonderful God, mighty God, kind and a loving God today. Yes, we just thank our Heavenly Father for who he is and who we are this day. We come to give him all the glory, all the honor, all of the praises to esteem him high. Yes, thank you, Lord, for all that you've done and all that you continue to do this morning. Hallelujah. Even though you're sitting high, you're looking low. This morning, we just want to thank him and praise him. Just want to love him and lift him up this day. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Father. Glory be to God this morning. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. So good to see you this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. We love you. Good morning, Jaquia Moore, Janice Moser, and Lena Williams, Wanda Williams. So good to see y'all this morning. Praise the Lord for you this morning. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you for the love that you have for us. Thank you for the peace and the joy that you give us. Thank you this morning for confidence. And hallelujah. We thank you for renewed minds and renewed hearts today. Hallelujah. We just want to thank you and praise you, Father. Just want to glorify you this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Psalm 15. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor. And who eyes a vile person is contemned? But he honoreth them that fear the Lord. He that sweareth to his own hurt and changeth not. Hallelujah. He that putteth not out his money to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. <coughs> Psalm 16. Preserve me, O God, for indeed do I put my trust. O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord, my goodness extended not to thee, but to the saints that are in the earth and to the excellent, in whom is all my delight. Their sorrow shall be multiplied, their hasten after another God, their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names unto my lips. The Lord is the portion of my inheritance and of my cup, thou maintainest my lot. The lines are falling unto me in pleasant places, yea, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel. My reign also instructs me in the night season. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Praise the Lord. Praise you the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. We just thank you and praise you, Lord. We love you. We lift you up this morning. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me this, this Tuesday morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the upon the seas and establish it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in this holy place? He that had clean heart and clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Who is this? Oh, I'm sorry. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. And be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. 
Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Praise the Lord this morning. Praise the Lord. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Psalm 96. Last song. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord. Bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathens, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heaven. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, O ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Hallelujah. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then all the trees of the woods shall rejoice before the Lord. For he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and his people with truth. Dear Heavenly Father, we enter into your gates this morning with thanksgiving and into your course with praise. We come humbling ourselves under your mighty hand today. Lord God, we come to thank you and praise you, to lift you up, to esteem you high, to honor you and bring you glory to this morning, this day. Lord God, we thank you and praise you right now as we hollow out your name. We call you Jehovah Shalom because you are the God of our peace today. Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Jehovah Rophi, our healer. Jehovah Rohi, our shepherd. Father, we call you Adonai because you are sovereign and majestic, and we worship in the beauty of your holiness today. Lord God, we thank you, El Elyon, because you are the most high God. All other gods are false gods, but you are the true and living God. Father, we thank you this morning that you are the same God today, tomorrow, and forevermore that you were yesterday. Lord God, you're the same God to us that you were to us when we were in trouble and you delivered us, when we cried out and you answered us. Father, we thank you and praise you right now that you are the Lord and you will never leave us nor forsake us. Father God, this is the day that you have made. We are rejoicing. We are glad in you, Father. Lord, for you have given us everything that pertains unto life and godliness this day. Lord God, we come before you this morning just lifting up the name of Jesus. Father God, that we thank you that in that name we live, move, and have our being. We thank you, Father, for because of what Jesus did over 2,000 years ago, that we are redeemed, we are saved, our sins are forgiven, and we thank you and praise you this morning, God. But we thank you, Father, that Jesus did not leave us comfortless. We have a helper and a strengthener, a, a standby and an advocate. We have your Holy Spirit that's in us and upon us this day, your Holy Spirit that gives us strength and direction, your Holy Spirit that is your presence, your voice talking to us. Us, walking with us, speaking to us. Lord God, we just want to thank you and praise you this morning. Father, I pray this morning as we thank you, God, that you get the glory in everything that we do. In Jesus' name, let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Thank him and praise him this morning, for he is an awesome God. He's a wonderful God. He's a loving and a mighty God. He's a kind God. He's a God who loves you just as you are, a God who loves you with all your faults, but he know that you're being perfected as you walk with him and talk with him. He's a God that still loves you. He's a God that will never turn his back on you. I don't care where you go. You make your bed in hell, he's going to be right there with you. You go to the othermost parts of the ends of the earth, he's going to be right there with you. He's going to be with you when when you up and when you down, when you're happy and you're sad, when you're victorious and when you're defeated, God is still the same God and he's still with you. So don't you give up on God. Don't you turn your back on God because God loves you this morning. Hallelujah. And all the day long. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you, him and praising him this morning. He loves you right now. Hallelujah. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Let me say a prayer for you this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. 
Yes, Lord. Thank you for never leaving us nor forsaking us. Let me pray for you this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you this morning. Standing in the gap on the behalf of my brothers and sisters who are standing with me in prayer at this very hour. Declaring your kingdom come, your will be done in their life as the plan and the will of God is in heaven. Father, I thank you that you get all the glory in everything that we do. But Father, I come this morning praying for these, your sheep, your children, your sons and your daughters today. Father, I thank you for waking them up this morning and you're not giving them a spirit of fear, but a spirit of faith, a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. And I thank you that the peace of God which surpasses all understanding and keeps them in all their ways this day. Father, I pray that you give them wisdom and a discerning heart. Give us all revelation knowledge today. And Father God, we thank you right now that we apply that revelation knowledge that you have given to help us and to help somebody else. Lord God, I pray for a hedge of protection all around my brothers and sisters who may be driving at this very hour. Father God, I pray for peace for those who are at work, on their way to work right now. Peace in the home, God. Lord God, I pray that the joy of you, Lord, is our strength. You are the strength of our life. You have replaced sickness with health, poverty with wealth. You have replaced, hallelujah, low self-esteem with glory and honor. Lord God, I thank you right now that whatsoever we need, God, you've already supplied it according to your riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Lord God, I pray for that brother and sister right now who just don't know what to do, God. I pray right now that they look to the hills from which cometh their help. All the help comes from you, Lord God. Father God, I thank you and praise you this morning that the love of God and the peace of God, hallelujah, will just continue to keep them in all their ways. Lord, I thank you right now. You've given us strength. Hallelujah. And this morning, my brothers and sisters are clothed in the full armor of God already. Father God, I thank you right now. They have on the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation. Hallelujah. And I thank you that the loins are girded with the truth, which is the word of God. Father God, let every man and devil be a liar, but let you be true, Father. Lord, I thank you that they take the shield of faith and quench every fiery dart that the devil is throwing at them. Hallelujah. That when people tell them they're not enough, Father, that they know that they are enough. Lord God, I thank you and praise you this morning that they walk in boldness, God. They walk just like you, Father. Father, and I thank you for walking with us and never leaving us. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you the Lord this morning. I just want to thank God for you. I thank God for you joining me this day. Hallelujah. Yes, he is an awesome God and a wonderful God. And I thank God for you this morning. Listen, be encouraged. Encourage yourself today. Just stay encouraged no matter what comes your way. Remember, God got you. He got you through it all. He got you. Hallelujah. Sometimes God allows things to happen in our lives to test us. Hallelujah, for we already know that by the word that was written in Psalm 66, he said, you have proved us, you have refined us as silver is refined, or tried us as silver is tried. Listen, silver goes through some fire, and the hotter the fire, the brighter the silver will burn. So understand that you have been tried like fire, you've been proven, I mean like silver, but you are proven. So don't you give up. Don't you quit. Don't you think that, hey, I'm, 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 I just can't get this. Don't call yourself dumb. Say you are intelligent. Just call on the Holy Spirit to open your eyes and help you see that problem. So what? So that you can get the answer. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Let me pray for your spouses and your children this morning. Do me a favor. Matter of fact, put their name in the chats. Put your spouse name if you're married. Put your children's name, your fiance name. I want to pray for your spouses and your children. Praise the Lord. Just want to pray for them this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. You now I got Pastor Sabrina in there. Miles, Sean, DeAndra. Praise the Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 
praise him, praise him, praise him this morning. Awesome and wonderful God, mighty and a holy God. Yes, we just give him all the glory and all the honor, esteeming him high today, thanking you, Father, for these, your people, God, a wonderful people, a blessed people, a glorious people, a people without spot or wrinkle, a people serving at the own heart. Lord God, just thank you and praise you now that you're just keeping them in all their ways. Father, I rejoice because of the glory of the testimonies that they have. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Charles and Saran Johnson. I got you there, Dorothy Peterson. Hallelujah. Lynn Bryant, Tony, Kira, Shaquise, Shaquise, and Tony, Phil, Tamara, Monique, and Michaela. Larry Child, Jante Child, Jare Child, Tangela Poole Moore, her husband, Lavaris Moore, Tangela and her husband, Juanita Hudson, Chappelle, Keisha, Keith, Anthony, Keith Jr., Donna Moultrie, husband, children, Yolanda, Donald, Jabari, Raven, Walter, Alexandria, and Walter, Candace, Lil Will, Michaela, Gomar, praise the Lord, Eddie Jr., BJ, and Tish, Jalen Eubanks, Cedric Harris, Quentin Roker, Willie Simmons, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. James, Jaquay, Collins, Jaquia, James, Carnesha, Carton, Cornelius, Earl, hallelujah, Erlisha, Er, Erlana, Johnny, Earl Larkins, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Who else we got? John Hudson, Tawana, Tiffany, Courtney, Brandon. Hallelujah, Brian, Cameron, all right, Michael, Luke, Tony, Mike, Ron, John, Robert, Gray, Curtis, Charlene, Elizabeth, Patricia, Larry, Tyrone, Tony, yes, Nasia, Denia, Jay, Keith, uh, I mean, oh, Phaedra, Phaedra, hallelujah, I'm going to add Merrick and Frank, hallelujah, Wonder Williams, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask some more. My prayer warriors who I know, hallelujah. Yes, I thank you for Raphael, Raphael Jr., Jaquita, Raven. Hallelujah, 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 and Mariah. Hallelujah. All right, I see Jackie, Pharaoh. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I know I got Carolyn Scott, Raymond Scott, I can't think of Raymond Jr., uh, Shakela, uh, Jolisha. Just trying to remember some of the people that be on here may not be on here, but I'm going to call their names anyhow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, y'all, come on, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you this morning. On the behalf of these spouses, hallelujah, hallelujah, and these children. Father, I pray that the spouses that them and these prayer wars that they're on one accord, that the husband love their wives as the church, as Christ loved the church. And they give themselves for their wives, just as Christ did for the church. They clean their wives with the washing of the word, praying over them, hallelujah, hallelujah, lifting them up and steaming them high. Father, I thank you right now, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord, that each and every husband is a man of God serving after your own heart. Father, I thank you that they're walking with you and they are serving as providers and protectors for their family. Father, that the husbands are standing up and fulfilling the role that you called them to in every area of their life, in their homes, in the church, on their jobs, in their businesses. Hallelujah. Even amongst family and friends, that the husbands, Father, is a representation of you to the entire family. And Lord, God, I thank you right now that they have raised and are raising their children and nurture and admonition of the Lord. Father, I thank you right now, Heavenly Father, that the wives submit unto the husbands just as, hallelujah, they do unto the Lord, that they get under the vision or the mission, God, of, of that husband, of that man, God, and hallelujah, and that as that husband follow Christ, the wife follows her, her husband, and Father God, I thank you that the wives serve as the favor, because the Bible says, he that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Father God, I thank you that husband and wives are operating on one accord, hallelujah, serving, hallelujah, in marriage, serving in the church, serving in love, and Father, I thank you, Father, that each and every marriage is blessed, is bold, and is beautiful. It's 
is a reflection of the love of God as the two become one. That the wife and husband don't put nothing before each other except God. Not even the children, not mama or daddy, brother, sister, cousin, friends, no one. Father, that God is first and then their spouse. And God, I thank you that they come together and have raised and are raising their children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. I thank you that the seed is blessed. I thank you that the seed is protected. I thank you, God, that the seed has an inheritance, Father, of life and prosperity. Father, God, I thank you right now that no matter what the children are, God, that you are with them. Father, we thank you for those that are sick. Hallelujah, you have healed them. For those that are going through, hallelujah, that you have touched them. Lord God, we thank you that the blessing of the Lord make it rich and you add no sorrow. I declare that each and every husband and wife is blessed and their children are blessed. Father, I thank you right now. Yes, for the manifold blessing that's fallen upon each and every family. For the joy of the Lord is their strength. You are the strength of our lives. And Father God, we thank you that each and every family is serving as an example up to the world of what a godly family looks like. And Father, we thank you and praise you today. In Jesus' name, let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Thank you this morning, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hey, we got to call those things that be not as though they were. You got to speak the word. You got to believe the word. It doesn't matter what it looks like. You got to just believe the word. You got to believe what God is speaking to you. Hallelujah. You may not see it. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We know by faith these worlds were framed that God took those things which were not and turned them into what? This world to the universe. So you got to understand that you may not see what you're praying for, but you got faith that is going to come to pass. So you keep praying for your spouse. You keep praying for your children. You keep praying over that situation. You keep declaring the word of God over those things in your life which God has promised you to come to pass. Hallelujah. Keep the faith. Have F uh, expectation that God is doing just what he said he's going to do. He's bringing it to pass. Hallelujah. God brought your children on this earth for a reason. And you got to say, you got to remind God, hallelujah, Father, you created my children for a purpose. Hallelujah. You sanctified them and set them apart. And right now, I believe that it's coming to pass. I don't care where they are, what they're doing. You believe that they will be doing the will of God. Hallelujah, that what God said they can do, they'll be doing it. Where God said they can go, they'll be going. going. But you got to believe that God will do what he said he going to do concerning your children, concerning your marriage, concerning your life. You got to believe. So don't you, don't you quit. Don't you give up. Don't you throw in the towel. You keep believing. Hallelujah. You keep on praying. You keep speaking that word until it manifests in your life, until it manifests in your children's life, your grandchildren's life. You keep speaking what God told you. And don't forget, remind God of what his word says. Not what you want or what you said, but remind God of what his word says. His word says that his word shall not return unto him void. It shall accomplish what he sent it. If God spoke a word to you, that word cannot go back to him void until it accomplishes what he said it will do, until it does what he says it came to do. That's the best check ever. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, good morning. Good morning. I love y'all this morning. So good to see y'all. Glad you're with me. Know that you are a beautiful, blessed child of the Most High God this morning. So let's get into the I Am Confession this morning. Say this after me. I am beautiful. I am bold. I am courageous. I am determined. I am victorious. I am a winner. I am a champion. I am unstoppable. I am unmovable. I am unshakable. I am unbreakable. I am loved. I am loving. I am gifted. I am talented. I am amazing. I am anointed. 
I am intelligent. I am blessed. I am empowered. I am prosperous. I am successful. I am complete. I am whole. I am healed. I am confident. I am faithful. I am dependable. I am reliable. I am trustworthy. I am faithful. I am forgiven. I am forgiving. I am grateful. I am humble. I am thankful. I am compassionate. I am generous. I am nice. I am kind. I am strong. I am capable. I am well able. I am graceful. I am divinely favored. I am chosen. I am royalty. I am holy. I am sanctified. I am set apart. I am wonderful. I am wealthy. I am filled with the Holy Ghost. I am fire baptized. I am fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. I am a new creature created in Christ Jesus. Old things have passed away. All things are become new. Greater is the spirit of God that's in me, that's upon me, than any spirit that is in this world. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am God's hand at work. I am God's masterpiece. I am God's masterpiece. I am God's masterpiece. Let's, let's touch the hem of his garment. Let's pull down that we are God's masterpiece. You are a child of God this morning. Come on, come on, let's reach up. Come on, let's pull that down this morning. Say this after me. Say, Father, I touch the hem of your garment. And I pull down that I am a child of God. I am your masterpiece in Jesus' name. Pull it down this morning. Woo! <laughs> Give God some praise this morning. Hallelujah. Understand that. Let that be your mentality today, that you are a child of God. Let, let that be your mentality today, that you are a masterpiece. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, that God, tell yourself, God made me in his image. I don't care who says what you look like. You say, ah, excuse me, I made, I look like my father. You like your father. No, you don't look like your mom. No, no, no. I look like my father who are in heaven. I act like my father. I walk like my father. I look like my father. Praise the Lord. Tell yourself you are God's masterpiece, that you are beautiful. Tell yourself that you're bold. Tell yourself that you're faithful. Tell yourself that you're courageous, that you are a winner, that you are a champion, you're a victor. You got to speak over yourself. You got to encourage yourself. If you don't, fear and doubt going to try and take a stronghold over you. But I want you to speak to yourself. Encourage yourself. Don't let no, no words come out of your mouth the way you speak negative over yourself. Encourage yourself in the Lord today. Encourage yourself in God every day. So speak over yourself this morning. Don't be afraid to encourage yourself. Don't be afraid to say, self, you look good. Don't be afraid to say, self, you are beautiful. Self, you are lovely. Self, you are smart. Encourage yourself. Tell yourself that you are, are powerful. Tell yourself, hey, I'm stepping out on faith. Self, come on, let, let's do this. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, come on, y'all. Let's do this favor confession this morning. 
Say this after me. Say, Father, I thank you for your grace, unearned, undeserved, unmerited, favor, your supernatural, power, ability, and authority that surrounds my life as a shield, as a protector. I declare that the favor of God is working for me when I'm asleep, when I'm awake, when I get up, when I lay down, when I go out, and when I come in. The favor of God is working for me in my home, on my job, with my businesses. God's favor is working on my behalf right now. I declare that I have favor, good success, and a good understanding in the sight of God and man. My God has raised up and is raising up people to use their favor, power, resources, might, ability, assets, authority, influence, inheritance, intelligence, strength, money, and wisdom to help me, to bless me, to do good to me. And my God has raised me up to use my favor, my power, resources, might, ability, assets, authority, influence, inheritance, intelligence, strength, money, and wisdom to help someone, to bless someone, to do good to someone. I declare the favor of God is causing rules, laws, regulations, and ordinances to be changed, created, and modified to help me, to bless me, to favor me. I am Abraham's seed, and the favor of Abraham is on my life. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Now let's do it one more time for yourself this time. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Every time, every time I turn around, God's favor is blessing me. Turn around one time, hallelujah. And I got those who can in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's reach up. Let's touch the hem of his garment. Let's pour down that favor this morning. Say this after me. Say, Father, I touch the hem of your garment. I pour down favor from the north, south, east, and west in Jesus' name. Pull it down this morning. walking. We're walking in the favor of God this morning. Hallelujah. It's our destiny. Listen, speak favor over your life today. Speak that everyone who comes into your life, that you will have favor in their eyes. You will have favor with them. And those who lives you come in contact with, they'll find favor with you. You speak today. Speak today that you got favor in the eyes of those who you come in contact with today. Hallelujah. I don't care if it's the mailman, if it's the milkman, whoever it is, declare that you got favor in their eyes. Hallelujah. You got favor with God and favor with man. Hallelujah. If you're going to the doctor, you got favor in the eyes of the doctor. If you're going to the bank, you got favor at the bank. 
Hallelujah. If you're at work, declare you got favor at work. Hallelujah. With your supervisor or if you're the supervisor with your subordinates, you declare that you got favor and that they got favor with you. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's say that part again. Say, Father, I declare that I have favor, good success, and a good understanding in the sight of God and man. And I declare that others have favor, good success, and a good understanding in the sight of God and me. In Jesus' name, give God some praise this morning. <laughs> See, that's, that's a little flip on it, huh? To show that you can use your favor for somebody else today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may show somebody some favor in the parking lot. Y'all may get to the same parking spot at the same time, but you may say, you know what, Lord? I'm going to show them favor. I'm going to let them go on and park right here today. I don't know. Hallelujah. You may be going to get in that line and you say, go ahead. You show somebody favor today. Hallelujah. But somebody may, somebody will extend favor to you, you blessed child of God. So you extend your favor to somebody else. Hallelujah. Let somebody else see the glory of the Lord that's upon you. Let somebody else see the favor of God that's in you. You be a blessing. Hallelujah. So God will keep blessing you. We are distribution centers. We're distribution centers of grace and love, mercy and compassion, of encouragement, of faith and favor, hallelujah, of finances. We're distribution centers of the most high God. Say this after me. Say, I am a distribution center of the most high God and I distribute love, peace, joy, favor, favor, mercy, increase, I declare, my Lord has given unto me, and I give unto others in Jesus' name. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Thank him this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I'm just declaring this morning, hey, that we are distribution centers. Each and every one of us. Tell yourself, I am a distribution center of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you this morning for giving all of us the resources that we need to be a distribution center. And to let your glory shine as bright as the sun will shine today upon us. That when others see us, they not only see Jesus, but they see the love of Jesus. And that they experience that love even in our presence, God that whoever our shadow touches, that they will experience the love of God that's in us and the power of God that's upon us. Lord God, I thank you and praise you now. Hallelujah. We thank you this morning. Thank you this morning, Heavenly Father. Yes, hallelujah. You are the salt and light of the earth. A light set on a hill, a city set on a hill cannot be hid. And I'm declaring and professing that the love that God has put in you, that the love God has for you, that the love God showers you with, that that love will radiate from you today and in your house, on your job, with your businesses, in the grocery store, at the gas station, in the bank, wherever you go, that people will see the glory of the Lord that's upon you and you can't hide. You've been sanctified. You've been set apart. You built differently because you're a Christian. And I'm declaring that all of that Christian will come out of you today. All of that. Praise the Lord. Christianhood. The love of God. That smile that you have. That you will smile and it will brighten somebody else's day today. The words that you speak. I declare and I'm declaring that right now that they will be words to encourage. Words of love. Words to uplift, to inspire, and motivate today. I'm declaring that over your life, that no foul, corrupt, polluted, profane, negative language will come out of your mouth, but you will speak words that edify, that build up, and never tear down. You are a reflection of the Most High God, that you will start in your house, and it will radiate everywhere that you go. Hallelujah. That the love of God that's in you will come out of you today. 
And like the old song said, you said you weren't going to tell nobody, but you just can't keep it to yourself. That love that God has for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be a willing vessel today and let the Lord use you. Be a willing vessel today and let God pour into you. Be a, a willing vessel today and let that favor just surrounds you and keeps you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Think about it. If you got a water cooler in your house, or not even in your refrigerator, what happens when the water runs out? You put another jug of water on a water cooler, right? Well, when you're pouring out, God pours in. Sometimes you got to get some rest because the water got to get cold. So while you're resting, God is refilling you. He's restoring you so that you can nourish some other people just like he's nourishing you. You may say, Lord, I just don't feel like it. Or you may say, man, I don't feel like it today. But as soon as you get up, as soon as your feet hit the floor, you get renewed strength. So be willing to be used by God today. Let me, let me pray that over you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you on the behalf of all of us that are here and those who will listen to this in the future. Father God, give us the strength to be willing vessels used by you today. Father, let us pour out into others as you have poured out into us. Lord God, give us the strength that we need to help strengthen others in your presence, in our presence, God. Those who come, that let them see you before they even see us. And may the glory of the Lord that sits upon us, may that glory be felt everywhere that we go. Father God, may your presence be felt wherever we go. And Father God, we thank you that when we get to that place, the blessing of the Lord is already there. That we experience the blessing, but not, all, but not only that, but that we give blessing. Father God, we just thank you and praise you that you're letting us be like Jesus. We're walking like Jesus, talking like Jesus. We're reflecting your love like Jesus. And Father, we thank you right now that we bind up the enemy that may try to come in and stop us from showing favor and love and being a blessing. Father God, we bind up that enemy and render them inoperable in the name of Jesus. But Father, give us the love and the courage and strength to even show love and favor to our enemies, God, so that they will experience the true love of God and the peace of God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord this morning, somebody. Give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The song says, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Let God use you today, beautiful person. Let God use you today. Let God have his way in you today. Let God cause you to be that sanctuary. Hallelujah. Praise and praise and praise. Him. So with that being said, I want to thank y'all for joining me this morning. Thank you for encouraging me to keep doing what I'm doing. Because when you show up and others show up, it gives me the strength and courage I need to keep moving. So you are blessing me with your presence. The only thing I ask that you do is that you share this. Hit that share button on your Facebook page. Let other people know because you never know who may be going through and they can hear this prayer because they watched it on, on your page. And they may only watch it for five seconds, but that five seconds, they got just what they needed to be recharged, to be refreshed, restored, and renewed. So I'm asking you to share this on your page. Also tell people, hey, if you want to catch more, go over to his YouTube page, go over to the church's YouTube page, Uplift Church 429. I'm asking all of you, if you haven't, go over there, like, and, and subscribe to our channel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And then share it out. Text it to somebody else. YouTube got a share page. You know somebody going through today who need prayer? Boom. You remember a prayer because you say, hey, Pastor, remember that prayer you did? Yeah. Oh, that thing helped me. Let it help somebody else. Okay? Spread the word. And uh, I just want y'all to know that I love y'all. Hey, put this date down. I would love to see some of y'all. Uh, July 2nd, 2022. We're going to be having our uh, church fellowship on the park. Uh, we won't be having church on July 3rd, but we will be um, having uh, our church annual um, 
uh, fellowship on the park. We're going to have food, fishing, fun, and games. Just having a good time. We're going to just celebrate one another. So I hope that you'll be able to come out and just celebrate with us. That's July 2nd. It's going to be a diary park. I'm going to have more information coming. Hallelujah. But I just want you to be prepared to come in and just worship with us. Praise God with us. So uh, with that being said, bring somebody with you tomorrow morning. Let them know, hey, listen, you need to be on this prayer line. Even if they can't stay but five or 10 minutes, just tell them, come on, jump on while you're driving in your car. Hallelujah. You got a little time at work or whatever. Just, just jump on. Let the Lord bless you. So with that being said, I just want to say thank you. And I love y'all beautiful people. On the behalf of myself, James Tiger Wilkinson, the senior pastor of Uplift Church 429, my beautiful wife, Pastor Sabrina, our family, the Wilkinson clan, and of course, the most beautiful is wonderful, is best, is blessed, is Holy Ghost filled, devil stumping, hallelujah, fearfully and wonderfully made, body of believers, amazing, anointed, hallelujah, fire baptized, committed, dedicated, skillful, loyal, able, prompt to do, on fire, body of believers on this side of heaven, our Uplift Church 429 family, and of course you, our Uplift Church Facebook Live family. We love you. God bless you. See you in the morning. Peace. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I'm walking in the favor of God.